Okay, y'all, I'm back on, and uh, I made my oatmeal and all that stuff, and y'all, I got a headache. I got a headache. I don't know if it's just because I haven't eaten or what, but I got a headache coming on, but anyway, it ain't even about me right now. Um, actually, it's about my girl here that sent me this message, and she wants to know, is it wrong if she be with an old boy? First of all, let me give y'all a little bit of background. Um, my girl has a husband, been with the husband for many years, but she met this guy before she met her husband and they, you know, they attracted to each other and they kicked it a couple of times and, you know, and, um, she has a damn good husband, y'all, cause hubby allows her to be a housewife and, and he loves her past her pain and, all that good old stuff and, you know, but just like every other marriage, it's been, it's, you know, it's had its turns and turmoils. It ain't always been perfect, but nonetheless, you know, they're working that out for their son. And so, but she's also in love with another man. Now, the other day I was telling her, I, shout out, I shouted out to her that Jasmine Sullivan has this song called, I'm in love with another man. That is so cold. I mean, if y'all ain't got it, y'all need to go on LimeWire and, and hook that up for free. Or whatever y'all get down is, Y-Tunes or iTunes or whatever whatever the shit y'all own. Check that out if y'all ain't got that already. But, um, anyway. So, I'm, um, gonna answer your questions, mama. Hold on, let me say my grace, y'all. I got my oatmeal right here and, and it's been looking at me and I don't want it to get cold. So I, I need to take a bite of this right quick. Hold on, let me say my grace. Okay. Mm-hmm. Anyway, now I'm cool. Are you wrong for being with our boy? Well. And oh boy, you say he get jealous too? Well, the thing is this, how much are you willing to sacrifice? Because if he can come in and do what hubby do, and that, that is allow you to kick it on the YT with me all day and go and do your thing and, and all that other stuff, then I say, hey, cool, you know, be with old boy, but. If he can't pay like he weigh, like hubby, and hubby out there, you know, hitting it every day and making sure Peter and Paul is taken care of and, and you all and all that other, and then I say it's not worth it. It's not worth the, uh, it's not worth the, the stick in your marriage. You know, I won't, I won't say that, but if it's been to the point where your, your marriage has been as rocky if your marriage has been real shysty and it ain't been cool and you really trying to get on from your husband, be it abuse or something like that, then I say, hey, you know, ain't no amount of money is worth a motherfucker putting his hands on you or a motherfucker just, you know, treating you any kind of way. It ain't worth that. Hmm. Now, I ain't never been there before. I ain't never been, um, you know, had a man put his hands on me and all that other shit. I ain't never had that. So, if you've had that in your marriage, fuck that. Tell that nigga going up the road and I'll holler at you down here at the courthouse to go and get my motherfucking money. That's what's up on that. But, if it's not to that degree, I'm not even an advocate on cheating or nothing like that. But let's face it. All men fucking cheat. I don't know of one that don't. If if it excuse me, if it is one that don't, tell him to holler at me. Because I've never met a man that doesn't cheat. At least one time. If he's not cheating physically and sexually, he's cheating emotionally. And that is he got the bitch up there at the job that he running and telling her all y'all shit about what's jumping off at the house and this this bitch is telling him what she, what he should and should not do and what the hell he deserves. Bitch, you don't live in a house with us. 
You don't know what the shit jumps off up in here. And you don't know that I done been through the thick and the thicker with his ass. So don't make no motherfucking comment about what's going on in my house. Period. Okay? So, I say this. If old boy is just something to do, make his ass something to do. If he can't come in right now and change the, the dynamics of your financial situation, fuck it. Go on and get yours. Let him go on and get his, which means, i.e., let him eat. Okay, I'm going to go ahead on and put that out there. Okay, let him go ahead on and do all that other. And then, therefore, you go ahead on and you take care of your family. You're going to have to live two lives, mama. I mean, that's it and that's all. You're going to have to live two lives or you're going to have to let hubby go or you're going to have to let this man go. Period. If you're, if you're not to the point where you want to let old boy go, then, hey, he got to understand. Baby, look at here. It's your time and my time. Then it's my time and my baby's time and my time and my son's time, too. If he can't handle that shit, then he really need to get on up the fucking road. I don't give a fuck how much background we got, nigga. What the history books say between me and you. But guess what else, partner? If you can't handle the fact that I got hubby over here and he taking care of these motherfucking lights and keeping the trash bill paid and the goddamn Cartoon Network on for my son going up the motherfucking road. Now, if you got a 401k and you got this and that and that jumping off, okay. Uh, you can go head on and give me one of these right here. Then I say, hey, go head on with it. But if he's not able, if he's not willing and or able to do what hubby's doing, you're going to have to either let him go. You guys going to have to get an understanding that he's just going to be something to do. Or you're going to have to work it out with your marriage. It depends on how deep you want to go with this and how much, you know, hurt you got, uh, you know, within your marriage. But I hope I've been... You know, uh, I hope that I helped y'all a little bit. Y'all, I don't mean to be chewing in y'all face. But I'm hungry in the motherfucker, you know? Headache and shit, motherfucking head, pounding and shit. But anyway, mama, let me know how it turned out for you. Okay, that's all, that's all I can tell you. That's all I can tell you to do. I hope it worked out. Deuces. I know I'm going to hear from you. You let me know what old boy got to say about that. Holla at you, girl. Bye.